Okay, so the lineup for Prague Stock 2019, this October 11th through 13th. Uh, let's start with the headliners. Uh, we'll start off uh, Friday, our headline set brought to you by 3.2 featuring Robert Berry. Uh, Robert Berry coming to take his 30 year plus uh, Prague history and uh, play everything that is from his catalog, including the new material relatively, that he did with Keith Emerson um, before his tragic death. Um, on Saturday, we have Brand X, uh, absolutely incredible uh, jazz fusion funk prog band um, from the 70s uh, is going gonna, is gonna to grace the stage for us. And then on Sunday, we have uh, what I'll call a double headliner. We have Saga from Canada um, that uh, hasn't played, I'm told, on U.S. soil in about 14 years and hasn't played a major festival in the U.S. in nearly 30 years. So we're all sorts of pleased to have them involved. And right before them, um, the new version of Nectar. Um, which uh, new is an interesting word for that because uh, it has two of the original founding members of Nectar in it, in Mo Moore and Ron Howden. Uh, and everyone else who's involved with Nectar was either involved with the band from the very beginning or involved with the band since the late 70s and early 80s. So it's going to be a great, uh, great chance to see Nectar come back together with both new music and old. Um, in addition to that, um, going back to Friday, Saturday, and Sunday mixed together, uh, we have Fido. Um, we have Salem Hill, a band that hasn't played live in quite a long time. We have Jane Getter Premonition. <clears throat> we have uh, Discipline. Uh, uh, we have The Siberium, uh, Joe Dininzon and Stratospherius. Um, and uh, we have another band that hasn't played together in quite a long time, uh, Rocket Scientists. Um, so we try to put together a good mixture of bands of old. Uh, that are at the, uh, at, shall we say, at the beginning era or eras of progressive rock, right through what we might call the middle period uh, in the late 80s through early 2000s, uh, the second coming, if you will, of heavily influenced by the earlier era progressive rock, and then stuff that's been made today, just in the last five years or so, bands that are, that are doing it today in the same spirit and in the same kind of, of uh, continually influenced music uh, produced by these people, whether these musicians are brand new or they're older musicians with new projects, it's new music, and that's the key. Progstock is trying to touch on the old and the new at the same time. Um, other things that are going on during our weekend, um, we have Rachel Flowers, once again, uh, who has been at every Progstock since the very beginning, uh, and she will be doing some mini sets, some special collaborations with various artists. Uh, mostly from our headline acts throughout the whole weekend. Uh, we have our late night after parties. Uh, we will have the wonderful duo of Melanie Mao and Martin Schneller from Germany uh, playing at our Progressive Coffee House on Friday evening. Um, on Sunday evening, we will have another great progressive rock band, uh, Independent, uh, coming from, uh, from Virginia, I believe, um, and that band is Kinetic Element. Uh, and then on Saturday, uh, aside from us having another almost ever-present person at our festival in Randy McStein playing some of his music for us. But then we also have a special event going on on Saturday evening where uh, the fans uh, get a chance to get on stage with a uh, proper backline and a proper sound set and, uh, and play some of the prog classics that they love so much. Uh, this is similar to an event that is done on Cruise to the Edge um, and that's called Last Call Live. Right, so a little bit more about our Saturday night, late night event. Uh, in 2019, we're bringing our first audience participation event to Prague Stock, first for us, that is. And that's called Last Call Live. Uh, now this is an organized collaboration between some of our most musically talented audience members uh, and a few of our performing artists uh, will be stirred in as well, uh, in the form of a jam session where some audience chosen Prague classics are covered. Now, for many of our audience members, this is a dream come true um, to play their favorite Prague tunes along with fellow fans on a real stage in a large theater, uh, and sometimes even with artists that they revere uh, in front of an audience. So I, I, this, this is just incredible, and we're extremely pleased to bring this event into Prague Stock in 2019. 
Uh, it's helmed by the same incredible team that has produced the much larger version of this called Late Night Live, uh, which is a nightly event on Cruise to the Edge, and that's been being done over the last few years. Uh, the idea of bringing this to Progstock <clears throat> was suggested uh, by uh, its current uh, captains on Cruise to the Edge, uh, Rob Rutz and Bill Goldman. Uh, and many other volunteers um, are behind it, helping this to be uh, become a reality for us. Uh, and the details of this you can find at last-call-live.com. And we can't wait for it to happen. Sure, there are many. Uh, and yeah, it's probably best if I don't list them right now. Um, we're always trying to put together a variety of bands that represent the classic era from the 60s and 70s foundation of Prague, uh, right through the middle and later periods and generations of Prague over the last few decades, and the up and coming Prague bands of today, like I've said before. Um, we also try to stir in some acts every year that are more at the edges of, of what some consider to be the Prague genre, with some metal and jazz fusion elements and even more. Um, there are so many bands out there that fit this description, uh, we really can't pick any favorites. But uh, usually what we try to do every year uh, during uh, a Prague Stock Festival is uh, announce to the audience that's there a few of the bands that we've already decided to bring for the following year. So if you come to Prague Stock 2019, you may just hear a few bands announced for 2020. <laughs>